Hi, I'm Colton Lindsay with the WJR Academy, and today I'm going to teach you about time management. Now, this is really, really important conversation. What I found out was early in my career, I didn't have a system to follow, so I wasn't getting business. But once I got a system to follow, I was easily selling over 20 homes a year, then 30, and then I found myself selling over 50 homes a year. However, the system I was using that, that helped me sell 20 homes was actually starting to burn me out at 50, 70 homes a year. What I, what I realized was I felt like I was reacting to everything. And so I would start my day um, with a list of to-dos and I'd finish my day with a list of to-dos and I never felt like I was getting anything done. I remember I was driving a 2001 Chevrolet Cavalier selling 50 homes a year with this cheap suit from China. I look like a smuck and I was still successfully selling 50 homes a year. But I get to the end of the day, I was exhausted. I was eating crappy. I was overweight. I was dehydrated. I wasn't present with my family. And what I realized was the reason I got into real estate was to make more money and have more freedom. And I was making more money, but I felt like I had even less freedom in my life. And then I had discovered and learned about something called a smart day. And a smart day taught me how to actually manage the different routines of my life. But here's what I wanted to first get across to you, is that time management is a hoax. It's a giant lie. No matter what, we all have 24 hours in a day, but actually it's about life management, understanding the different realms of our human life values, spiritually, mentally, physically, socially, financially, and emotionally. And when we can get extremely clear on those different parts and those realms of our life, we can schedule our life and actions accordingly to absolutely drive specific outcomes that we want to create in those realms and those areas of our life. And ultimately, we'll have more happiness and more freedom from the inside out. So I want to share with you the science behind life management. Because if I ask you this question, time equals what? Typically, you've been programmed to answer that time equals money. And that's in my belief, in my opinion, I can only come from my experience, is it's a lie. I believe, and what I teach in the WJ Academy is time equals emotion, energy in motion. And when we take a look at that, we have three major parts of our day. We have a morning, a day, and an evening. And so what we want to look at is what emotional experience do we want in the morning, the day, and the evening. Let's take a look at our day for example, in the day, that's when we're doing the activities of driving business and making money and serving our clients. Now, what most agents do is they get all of these mixed up. So they wake up to text messages and emails. They go to bed with text messages and emails. And it's all kind of a blur. And so they're feeling chaotic or overwhelmed or irritated or impatient. Or if you're a newer agent, you might even be feeling self-doubt, worried, or even disappointed in where your results are. And then that creates a negative space to live in. That's not why you got into real estate. You got in for more money and more freedom in your life. So we take a look at the day. What is the emotional experience you want in the day with your business? You want absolute revenue into your business. You're going to have appointments to meet with. You're going to have deals closing. You're going to have money going into your bank to live your lifestyle. True or true. But when we look at the evening, what is the emotion you want in your evening? You actually want to be able to turn off that certainty and that drive in your business and having to respond and serve clients. And you want to get to that connection and that celebration and that relaxation and that appreciation for the victories that you're creating in your life with your family. You want to spend it with the people that you love. Because what I found myself doing at that time when I was doing 50 something deals is I'd get home and we'd sit at the dinner table. I wouldn't have my phone, but I would still be running deals and scenarios in my head. I couldn't turn it off because the emotion was attached to it of fear and worry and scarcity and irritation. Like it was always urgent. So what I decided to do is I started to line up with my smart day and identify what emotion was I lacking and what did I want more of. So for example, I didn't have peace and tranquility and calmness. I couldn't just sit still with myself because I always had to be doing something. So then I realized that there were different parts 
of these morning, day, and evening. And what I discovered is these sections of my day for life management consisted of routines and rituals. A routine is an action plan that drives a specific outcome. For example, for my daytime part of my day, that routine has a series of actions that if I do, I will create specific outcomes. My morning has a routine that if I create specific actionable items and do them, it will drive specific outcomes. And the same with my evening. And these actions are actually defined as rituals. So a ritual is an action that drives a specific emotion because remember, emotion is energy in motion. So if the emotion that I want for my morning routine is peace, calm, and tranquility, I have to create a plan of actions that will drive that. So for example, my morning routine consists of drinking 30 ounces of water and then doing breath work, meditation, Tai Chi, and even sitting in a cold plunge so that I can feel really present and calm and get clear in the direction of my day. But then I begin to turn it up because the routine for my day is I want certainty. So my ritual starts with mastering my communication skills, driving appointments onto my calendar, and then delivering self presentations that converts customers into money. And then at the end of the day, my routine has rituals such as going a walk with my children, uh, doing bedtime prayer with them. Sometimes it consists of sitting in the tub with a glass of wine and relaxing, but I create actual items that drive the emotions that I want at that time in my life. And the more I do that, I found out that I started valuing my health and vitality more, love, warmth, and compassion, and intelligence in order to grow all of my realms of life, spiritually, mentally, physically, uh, uh, financially, and emotionally. And so one of the teach things I teach inside of the WGR Academy is having an ideal schedule. Now the lie is that you have to prioritize your schedule and what I'm saying is schedule your priorities and your priorities are the rituals that you develop inside of your routine based on what emotion that it is that you want to create. Now one of my students and mastermind partners from North Carolina, her name is Kayla Lindsay. Recently, we had the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. I don't know if you were affected by it or not. I know almost every person on the planet was, at least in some level. But I remember I had a conversation with her one day and she's extremely successful. She's been in the WGR Mastermind for years and the Academy program for years. And she said to me, hey Colton, if I hadn't been into the WGR Academy and learned my life management skills, not only would I have been broke financially right now, I would be broke emotionally. So absolutely you can go and grow your business financially today, but you can also grow emotionally. You don't have to suffer in the space of reaction, reacting to everything all the time. So my invitation to you is go ahead and click the button down below and schedule a free business strategy call with me. It's 45 minutes. So click the button, schedule a call with either me or my team, and we'll see you soon on that conversation. Talk to you later.